All right, so here's the sixth video, finding parametric equations for a line through some point x0, y0, z0, and parallel to the direction vector a, b, c. All right, and here they are. So, see we need the x0, y0, z0, that's from the point, and we need a, b, and c, that's from our direction vector. So so basically all these videos they're they're pretty much the same you need your point you need your direction vector the difference in each one is the information that they give us and we're gonna have to figure out what the direction vector is okay each one there's a little there's a different way that we have to find the direction vector alright so let's get started on the last example or example six uh, find the parametric equations for the line through the point 2, 1, 0 and perpendicular to both of these vectors here. Vector i plus vector j, vector i plus vector j, and vector j plus vector k. All right. So we need to find our direction vector. All right. And we need to find our direction vector and we'll call that vector v. That's our that's what we'll call our direction vector. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna assign vector A to be vector I plus vector J and I'm gonna assign vector B to be vector j plus k. So so that would actually give us that a is equal to, and if we write it, we can write it as 1, 0, I'm sorry, 1, 1, 0, and for vector b, we can actually write that as 0, 1, 1. Okay. So there's vectors a and b. So we want parametric equations for the line through this point and perpendicular to both of these vectors. All right. So we need to find vector v, and remember our line is going to be parallel to this. Okay. So basically, our direction vector needs to be perpendicular to both of these as well. All right. So vector v is going to be now hopefully you remember this remember we take the cross product of two vectors what is our result the resulting vector okay the answer we get when we do the cross product the answer we get that vector is perpendicular to both of these orthogonal to both of them Hopefully you remember that. If not, if you didn't, maybe that jarred your memory. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So uh, V is the cross product. So remember how to do the cross product? I got I, J, and K. And then remember what goes here, vector A, 1, 1, 0, and what goes here? Vector B, 0, 1, 1. All right, so remember the cross product. I'm going to take out that row, and then we'll delete that column. And so it's the determinant of this 2 by 2. So that's going to be what? 1 times 1. Let me change colors. So remember this times this, so 1 times 1 is 1, minus 0 times 1 is 0, and that's times vector i. Okay. And so now we're going to take out the second column. And, and by the way, I do have a video on finding cross product if you, wanna, if you need to check that out. I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Remember the signs alternate. Okay. So that's going to be this 2 by 2, the determinant, so that's going to be 1 times 1 is 1, 
0 times 0, so minus 0 times 0 times vector j, plus, and then I need to take out this column. And so that's going to be the determinant of this 2 by 2. So 1 times 1 is 1, minus 1 times 0 is 0, times vector k. Alright, so this is going to give us 1 times i, so that's vector i, that's 1j, so minus vector j, and this is 1k, so plus vector k. Alright, so that tells me that our direction vector is going to be 1, negative 1, 1. So remember, this vector that we calculated based on, it's the cross product of a and b of these two vectors. So this cross product here is orthogonal to both of these vectors. Okay, So since it's orthogonal or perpendicular to both of these, that means that since this equation is perpendicular to both of these, that makes the equation and this direction vector are parallel if they're both perpendicular to this. And so there's our point 2, 1, 0. So we've got our point which is 2, 1, 0. So there you go. There's A, B, C. There's X naught, Y naught, and Z naught. So x is equal to x naught plus at, y is equal to y naught plus bt, and z is equal to z naught plus ct. All right, so x is x naught. Well, x naught is 2 plus a is 1, so that's 1 times t. So x is 2 plus t. So there's x. Now let's get y. y is y naught, which is 1, plus b times t. b is negative 1, so that's negative 1t. So y is 1 minus t. And so there's y. Now for z, well, that's z naught, which is 0 plus c times t, well c is 1, so that's 1 times t, so z is equal to t. And there's your parametric equations. So check out the other videos, uh, hope this helped, give me a like, share and subscribe, thanks for watching.